We are also learning new details about the victims of this tragedy, six construction workers who were all pursuing the American dream. CBS's Nicole Skanga spoke with a local pastor who knows the families. A Baltimore City landmark, now a personal tragedy. These were fathers and these were sons and these were husbands, and these were people who their families relied on. We've determined the countries of origin of those that are presumed deceased to be Mexico, Guatemala, El Salvador, and Honduras. Miguel Luna, a father of three, was originally from El Salvador. The 40-year-old left for work at 6.30 p.m. to fill potholes on the Key Bridge. He's supposed to come in the morning uh, back home and never come. Menor Yasir Suazo Sandoval would have celebrated his 35th birthday next month. He believed in giving back and donated to a children's soccer league in Honduras. His brother prays his body is found so they can bring him back to be buried. We know that they were hard workers. We know that they love soccer. We know that they love, you know, their families and the community. Jesus said, call no one good, um, but these were good men. Father Walker has been mourning alongside families. My advocacy and is that we, we, we don't abandon these families, that we, we come together as a, a Baltimore community. A community these men loved. This bridge was a symbol of America. We feel so proud that they trust us to reveal, to repair this beautiful bridge that have a huge history in our nation. And that is an example of our contribution. Tuesday's bridge collapse marks the second time in one year construction workers were killed on the job along the same highway in the city of Baltimore. Last March, six highway workers were struck fatally by a speeding car. Nora. Nicole Skanga, thank you.